everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card using the butterfly background thin cut with a variety of papers. So this is the butterfly background and it's an A2 card size. I'm also going to use stitched brackets and the stamp set called Seasonal Borders. Those two, the last ones were, are from the core catalog. I'm also going to use some mix-ins and um, holographic papers called Twinkle Toes. Okay, and cardstock is uh, grape and lilac. All right, let's get started. I'm going to cut pieces at four and a half inches. So I'm just looking at this mix-in um, paper to see which portion of the paper I like and um, where I'm going to cut. So I'm going to cut that left top side and I'm just cutting it four and a half inches because the plate will take care of the sizing for the card. And then I'm going to do the same for the grape cardstock and for the lilac cardstock. Okay. And then I'm going to bring in the holographic paper. And since this is going to be a base underneath my cutout, I'm going to cut that at four and a quarter by five and a half, which is the size of an A2 card. So that's going to be an underlay. Um, and then the pop outs, you'll be able to see bits of that holographic paper. So I brought my big shot in and I'm going to cut this uh, background thin cut. I'm going to use that for all three of these uh, pieces of mix ins and cardstock. So I'm going to do the same thing for each one. And just run it through. And then the same thing for the grape. Okay. Run that through a couple times just to make sure everything cut. Okay. So I'll get the big shot out of the way. And then I'm going to decide which butterflies I want to use to add a pop of color to each. So this is the mix in and I'm just kind of uh, working with it to fold up the, the wings of the butterflies and part of it didn't cut all the way through. So I'm just trimming it up and just figuring out what's what on my background there. And then I'm going to pick out butterflies from each of these colored uh, cardstocks. And then I'm going to hand trim the rest of the butterfly shape out of my cutout there. So then I'm going to glue each of these butterflies on top of the overlay butterflies. So I'm just picking out which colors I, I want to use. Um, and I'll do that for all five butterflies that are on the front of the card there. So I'm going to skip ahead. So now I've cut out all of my butterflies. And I like that. The three large ones are grape and then the two smaller ones are lilac. And that's what it looks like with the holographic paper underneath. Now I'm going to do my sentiment. So I'm going to take a piece of this lilac paper and I've flipped it over to the lighter side and I'm going to run that through with the stitch bracket. And I'm going to use this to stamp out my sentiment. Okay, so this stamp set is Seasonal Borders. It's from the core catalog. And I'm going to pull the thank you. And because that space is a little large there, I, it needed a little extra something. So I pulled this swirly, but I didn't like that one. So there's another one. So I'm gonna pick that one instead. So I'm gonna stamp those two images on my bracket using black ink because my grape ink is still packed up in a box somewhere. <laughs> so it's slow going. We've been here two weeks now and fortunately I've got enough unpacked to be able to do videos, but I've got a lot of stuff to unpack still. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm stamping thank you and the little swirly on my bracket in black ink. And then I'll flip my verse mat back over to start working. I 
I've got a card base. This is four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half, an A2 size. And I'm just going to start laying everything down. So I'm using Tombow. I think that's the best adhesive to use with this holographic paper, especially when you are gluing things on top of it. It kind of has a, a plasticky feel to it. So liquid glue just smears. So I have to kind of cherry pick where I place my adhesive. Um, so it's a little slow going to figure out where exactly I can put adhesive so it doesn't poke through the openings. So I'm just kind of picking out a few places to get enough adhesive down so that overlay sticks. And I'll lay that down. And then each of these butterflies, I can use liquid glue. I'm folding up all my butterflies to make sure I didn't stick them down. <laughs> so I'm going to glue these with the uh, Tombow Aqua because it's a cardstock to pattern paper. So I think that will stick the best. So it's just like putting a puzzle together, placing each of these butterflies on top of the overlay butterflies. So I'll skip ahead in just a second. All right. So there's the last butterfly. We'll get that attached. Pretty simple to make card, but super pretty. It looks very intricate, but easy to make. So my sentiment, I'm going to pop that with some thin foam tape and I'm intentionally leaving some of that bracket um, hanging over the edge. I'm going to trim it after I get this adhered. So I'm just going to put that down with the foam tape. And then I'll just trim off the excess. I'll get that cleaned up. All right. And then for even more added bling, I decided to add some of these clear sparkles. They come in various sizes. Actually, they come in, now they don't come in a pack that looks like this. This is an older one. It comes, the smaller one comes in a pack of, of just that size. And then the bitty sparkles come in a separate pack too. So I'll list them in the description below. Okay, and there's my finished card. So all of these supplies are currently available in the July-August catalog. And I will make a list in, in, with links in the description below. And you can shop at the Earl in the upper right corner of your screen. I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And thanks for watching.